Hi Aries, it's Angela with Mystic Moon. Welcome to your May 10th through the 16th reading. This week's re reading is going to be on your twin flame connection. Just take what resonates and get rid of what doesn't. This Organite here in front of you is called the Dear Organite, created by my friend Michelle from Wingham Bell, and all the decks that I'm gonna be using in this reading today are created by myself. Everything will be listed down below. Let's go ahead and get started. What is your twin flame's energy towards you this week, Aries? Let's see. Okay, we have patience, okay? So maybe they're just being patient with you, patient with some sort of process, maybe waiting on something. We have Page of Wands. The Page of Wands can be a message, okay? So a message that they are thinking of sending you. It's going to be very exciting. They're very curious about how you have been. So if you guys have been in some sort of separation, it could be that they are going to be making some sort of contact with you, or they're at least curious about you this week. They wanna break the silence. They wanna break that curiosity. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune to move things forward. Wheel of Fortune can be connected to Sagittarius. So this right here is telling you that um, your twin flame is feeling guided this week to actually come towards you. So you guys can get the wheel turning in your connection once again, especially if things have gone stagnant. Yeah, so that way the, you guys can work on something. Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this connection this week. So you could be hearing from your twin flame about how they want to work on something and they want to move forward this week with you. And that they want to kind of take some time in, in order to do so. Maybe not rush in, uh, but really take it slow, but work on this very, very nicely. So that is your Twin Flames energy towards you. Let's see if there's any kind of shadow that you need to be aware of this week when it comes to your Twin Flame. And yeah, we have this uh, deranged, crazy, and lunatic energy. This does not mean that your person is crazy or deranged, but I feel like their shadow this week is that they're very impatient, and that's probably why this patient card is coming up. They really, really have a lot of enthusiasm and excitement for your connection. So in a way, they're kind of almost feeling like a little, not deranged, but a little like crazy with this energy. So I feel like they're trying to be patient and they're trying to go towards you in a slow manner, but it's really difficult for them. They just want to rush in. Is So that's their shadow or their their challenge this week. So why don't we take a look and see what healing is available. What healing and ascension is available right now? Ooh, I love this ray of light. So this tells me here that they have had something illuminated for them. They're seeing something completely different. Maybe they were in the dark before and now all of a sudden it's like the sky is parting and they're seeing the light. It's a beautiful energy. So it's available to them. We have unpredictable rain clouds. So to me, it's like this is very unexpected that your twin flame is suddenly feeling this energy, that they're suddenly wanting to message you and come back and work on this. This is very unexpected. You would have never predicted it. And we also have social media, Seagull. So some of you could be experiencing um, some kind of message through social media or they've seen something on social media and this is actually helping them to come to some sort of realization or um, illumination. So the ascension this week and the healing that is available is things are starting to move because of things outside of us. So it's helping us to get things moving in the correct direction. All right, so what is your twin flame's message to you this this week? What do they want you to understand and know from their higher self? Okay, we have afflicted. So they are afflicted about something. They might feel badly about something. They might just be beating themselves up over something. See, I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. So they are a little confused about this message. They are a little bit conflicted and afflicted by um, you know, what they should say to you, when to come to you. Should they come to you now? Should they be patient? Should they wait? So your twin flame is a little, I would say, conflicted this week, and they might be afflicted by some sort of situation from the past. And that's what I'm seeing with that. And we have, I'm really bad at commitment, so they could have had commitment issues. They're really bad at committing to this choice too. So some of you guys, what I'm getting here is that your twin flame is thinking all of these things, whether or not they will come through with action is of course totally up to them, but it is on their mind to make communication with you and to work on this connection once again, it is there, okay? So let's go ahead and see how spirit is, uh, what, what signs from spirit we're, we're getting. Sorry, I can't grab these cards. Let's see here, what things are coming through 
from spirit about this connection. Yeah, there's some kind of planetary influence. And what I was going to say is that maybe the full moon in Scorpio has really helped this person, your, your twin flame, to come to some sort of realization. They've come full circle with something. They've let something go. And now all of a sudden the skies are parting and now they're able to see very, very clearly. So the influence of planets, moon phases, etc., has been huge. Yeah, and we have paw print spirit animal. I feel like spirit animals are also showing up on your journey right now, as well as your twin flames helping to lead the way. So pay attention to, to animals that you see. And we, yeah, whether or not to roll the dice, it's kind of like, do I roll the dice? Do I not roll the dice? It's kind of risky. Should I, shouldn't I? So a lot of just kind of uh, conflicting energy for your twin flame this week. What should they do? But I do feel like spirit is, is their guide this week on helping them on navigating their journey. Let's see what the possible future holds. Okay, so we have phantom lover fantasy. And let's see what this has to do with... Okay, yeah, we have a lot of this um, pagey energy. Page of Wands is coming up again, you guys. So this tells me that your twin flame is thinking about you a lot this week and fantasizing what it would be like to come back into your life and to work on this commitment. So it's in this infancy stage. Whether or not it will move forward, it will be up to them. But we do have tower. That tower is Aries energy. So this definitely is you. Um, this is about you just kind of remaining calm and not trying to push to make anything happen. This could disrupt the natural process of what is supposed to happen. So right now it's in that phantom stage. It's not quite popped through into reality, but at the end of the day, people are either going to level up and do the right thing, or they're just going to continue to just waste time and, and not come towards us. Either way, I feel like you're going to make a choice that's right for you, and you're just going to hold out and just focus on yourself. If this person comes towards you with some sort of promise of commitment, you'll know what to do is what I'm getting here. So I hope that that, was, um, that resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.